All right, now we're going to be looking at ones that are all greater than. So when we have greater than or equal to, now we use the word or between them. So I set it up, c minus 1 is greater than or equal to 5, or c minus 1 is less than or equal to a negative 5. Again, notice how I always flip and change the sign of the number. So now I solve, I add 1, c is greater than or equal to 6, or I add 1, c is less than or equal to a negative 4. And again, the reason that in the core concepts, they always put this one right here written first is so when we graph them, they'd be in the proper order. So in this case, we have the 6 here, and we have the negative 4 here. Well, it's less than or equal to a negative 4, and greater than or equal to 6. Okay? All right. So now I'm going to do B. So I'm going to erase this one and do letter B. Now, letter B is another special case one. In this case, it's greater than or equal to a negative number. Well, what we have to remember is that an absolute value is always greater than a negative number. So in this case, we'd have all real numbers. And again, it saves you a lot of work if you can recognize that right away, okay? All right, so now, letter C. First thing we have to do is we have to isolate, isolate the absolute value, just like we did when we solved the absolute value equation. So I'm going to subtract 1 from each side first. So I get 4 times the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is greater than 20. And now I'm going to divide both sides by that 4. And I get the absolute value of 2x minus 5 is greater than 5. And now I'm ready to solve. Again, it's an or because of that. So I have 2x minus 5 is greater than 5, or 2x minus 5, flip and change. Okay, and we solve, so I'm going to add 5. I get 2x is greater than 10, divide by the 2, I get x is greater than 5, or I add the 5. And I get 2x is less than 0, divide by the 2, I get x is less than 0. So I have x is greater than 5, or x is less than 0. Now if I graph this up here, I have 0 here, 5 here, it's greater than 5, or less than 0. Alright? So, that's solving absolute value inequalities when it's a greater than symbol.